Hi, so just a quick video to demonstrate the capabilities and introduce to you Baumer's O200 laser through beam sensors. So the miniature O200 body, so nice and small, in a laser through beam. So we have our transmitter here. So you can see the lens on the front there is our emitting lens. And we have our receiving uh, sensor here on the through beam, which has a different receiving lens on the front there, you can see. So identical in size, just different lens on the front, transmitter, receiver. Of course, with the receiver, you've got the teaching capabilities and no teaching capabilities on the transmitter there. The LEDs on the top for the transmitter, you have a single LED uh, here indicating that there's power to it. The second LED is essentially non-functioning, doesn't do anything. On the receiving sensor, you have two LEDs, a one for power and one for output. So when you're aligning the sensors, you'll see that you just get the power uh, on both the sensors, but on the receiving sensor, you get just the power output, uh, not the uh, physical output. When misaligned, you can see that the second LED comes on to say that something's obstructing the sensor or there's it can't see the receiver. So essentially the same thing. So when fully aligned, you'll see output is off and also the uh, power LEDs are on for both the transmitter and receiver. When breaking the beam or not aligned, both LEDs come on. So the sensor has a six meter range, which can be taught uh, for trickier or smaller targets, um, depending what the detection's like or how opaque the target is. But straight out of the box, it should work once fully aligned, but you can teach uh, or use the eyelink settings to make differences in the setup of the sensors. The beam spot is a nice small beam spot laser and keeps the same size throughout its travel pretty much over that six meters. If I just show you there, that's the sort of size of beam spot we are looking at. So irrespective of how far I put it back, it doesn't change a great deal. So there we go. Transmitter and receiver on a set of laser through beams in a small body. So now on to the practical part of the demonstration. I have my transmitter set up here and my receiver here around 400 mil apart. Uh, the sensor can do six meters. I've also got the sensor hooked up to our wireless Iolink Master so I can show you on my phone via the app the information. So with this good lineup, you can see I've got uh, around 3000 units of light and currently the sensor is not triggered, so it's in false state. Of course, if I break that beam, the light value turns to zero because I'm fully blocking the beam and also the output turns to true. And there we go, the opposite scenario. So with this laser version that we have, we have a nice tight beam spot throughout its travel. <clears throat> you can see it just there. And yeah, over by the receiver, just there. So it's a nice tight, small beam spot. If I get it focused in for you there. Hopefully you can see it just there. That red dot so very small throughout its travel enabling us to give us nice fine detections by breaking the beam on a through beam up to six meters away also helps in alignment by focusing the beam directly onto the receiving head there but of course being hooked up to iolink i'm able to see the measurement value and you can see if i get a nice high number that the alignment is pretty good if i misalign the sensor 
slightly or, or fully in this case, you can see the value decreases. But if I don't have very good alignment, I could still see the receiver and still break the beam and get a true false statement but <clears throat> and true false switching but I want perfect alignment so let's move the sensor back to where it should be Bear with me something like that There we go. Back to full alignment again. So the sensor will switch, of course, for anything that breaks a beam that's opaque. So whether it be white or dark, you get nice good switching. Of course, with the iLink capabilities, you're able to set many things on the sensor, whether it be timers, whether it be quality parameters, whether it be the what display of the counts you want, if you want to display counts, etc., etc. Many functions you've got available via the iLink settings. So there we go, just a quick little demonstration on laser through beams in miniature body. So just to summarize, the uh, Bauma laser uh, 0200 through beams are a great solution for simple uh, part presence detection on a through beam setup. You can do up to six meters worth of detection. So have these six meters apart. You've got a nice small beam spot allowing you to detect very small objects. Uh, whatever breaks the beam, of course, not ideal for transparent targets or tricky targets in that respect, but anything shining, anything opaque, they'll be able to detect. You've got a nice small body size, no need for a separate amplifier or things like that, just power to each side. You've got lots of extended functions available via IO-Link if required, or it's a simple plug and play device. Power them up, have them facing each other, and you have them detecting whatever you like in a small body. Great alternative to fiber optic sensors, which are more expensive, need an amplifier for, and you also have to be very careful of the fiber optic cable itself in this respect. If you damage the cable, it's an electrical power cable, very easy to repair or replace. So reducing downtime and that type of thing as well. So yeah, a great miniature option uh, when you need detections in small footprint.